The boats are now coming into the chute for the second heat of the A-Stock Runabout Finals. The winner of the first heat was Carl Holt. Tom Spedding was second, and we will see who will come across first. It looks like it's going to be the 3P boat, and 3P is driven by Kevin Malalu of Westchester, Pennsylvania. It looked like a good start, and Kevin Malalu with an advantage of about three feet as they went across the line, and that's important in these little A boats. Uh, one of the more difficult classes to drive, David, because they are underpowered. They only run a little over 50 miles an hour, and uh, they want to hop right out from under these guys. They're tough to control. The timing of that start so important, getting that nose across the finish line as close to an after that clock hits zero as, as humanly possible. That's right, and if you look at some of the pictures that are taken automatically when the clock hits zero, you'd be amazed to see that a lot of these guys can put the bow of the boat six inches from the line at 50 miles an hour. Racers wow. coming out of turn number one, doing a little bit of bouncing heading into the backstretch. We have three boats within about a couple of boat lengths of each other, and the leader is coming up on the outside. We'll get an identification on that as soon as possible. This is a great race. It's a three-boat race heading down into corner number two on this first lap. And that leader is 58J Richard Runney of New Jersey. Runny taking the lead along the back stretch. Now he's really fighting it. If you notice the boat trying to hop around and now look at Runny work that boat up over the steering wheel to keep it trimmed out, trying to maintain that lead going into number the number two corner. 179 F Tom Spedding coming around the back corner. There you see Tom as he heads around and coming into the front stretch for the completion of his first lap of this three lap race. It looks like we have a new second place boat as a pass was just made on the outside near the exit pin of corner number two. So there's a, at least certainly a great race going on for second. And as you may or may not already know, those second and third place positions are very important. It is spedding in first place, running in second. And 3P, Kevin Malalu in third. 1S, Carl Holt, the first heat winner, is in fourth place. Carl Holt's got a struggle this time. He was out in that clean water in the first heat, and there's two more boats moving up on him. He's perilously close to dropping out of any real contention uh, by being in fourth. If he drops another position, we can start adding up the points for someone else. I don't think a fifth in either heat is going to get it done today. Around the first turn, down along the back stretch of Sunday Lake in Wakefield, Michigan, go the racers in the A stock runabouts. And Mike, this lake condition right now, just a little bit choppy, not too choppy, almost ideal for the runabout class. It's good runabout water, that's right, David. Coming down the back stretch. Uh oh, here's a challenge for the lead now. Look at this. Two there boats. Might, might have been a little bit of a bobble coming out of the turn, and that cost you dearly in A, where momentum is everything. And uh, someone has moved up to challenge Spedding there within a boat length midway down the back straightaway here on lap number two. That's Richard Runney putting the challenge to Tom Spedding. Spedding finished second in the first heat. Again, a first or second place finish would be very good for the Sheboygan, Michigan native. Watch this tricky second corner. This is where they really have to drive these little boats. It's Spedding, Runny, and Malalu, the first boats into turn number two, coming around for the second time in front of our broadcast position, coming across, or coming into the chute and heading for the start line and into their final lap of the day. All right, the starter displaying the white flag, signifying one more to go. And well, let's take a quick look. It's still spedding. And 3P closing on second, too. That's Malalu. Kevin, Kevin Malalu is closing up on Runny. Now, this is almost like a slow motion dance. The space is differing between these two boats by feet and inches. Sometimes it takes a whole straightaway just to gain five yards on someone. All three boats within about a length or two of each other as they head into the first turn on the backstretch. Super, super competition out of these little 15 cubic inch Johnson and Evinrude motors. Sometimes you see the bigger boats that kick up the bigger rooster tails and, and you get the big speed out of you get more show. With the smaller boats, a lot of the races are, are usually quite a bit closer. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that Malalu has just passed Runny coming out of corner number one on this the last lap. It looks to me like that's what happened. I'm quite a ways away, but it seemed that the outside boat 
Well, I don't know. I can't tell for sure. Spedding is still in first. Malalu and Runny battling for second and third places. Coming down the back stretch now, it looks like Runny's trying to put a challenge up on Tom Spedding, and Malalu's hot on his tail. No, this isn't over yet. The critical second turn has told the story more than a couple of times today. And um, those three boats still within striking distance of, of your leader, Spedding. Here they come, Spedding in first, Runny in second, Malalu in third, heading into that crucial final turn as they head for the home stretch. And we've got some action going on down low around that turn. Spedding still in first place coming down the home stretch, but who will be the second place boat? Will it be Runny or will it be Malalu? And Malalu took a big bounce in the water. And it will be Tom Spedding in first, Runny in second, and Malalu falling back a little bit farther in third place in heat number two. Well, unofficially, that ought to do it for Tom Spedding. He had a second in heat number one, combining the first and second place. Uh, Carl Holt, the winner of heat number one, is well back, I believe, in fourth. So by anybody's arithmetic, a first and a second sure out points a first and a fourth. And that should unofficially give Tom Spedding out of, out of Michigan the national championship in the A-Stock runabout class. And Richard Runney with a second and third place Looking in pretty good shape to take one of those top three spots. Of course, everything contingent on making sure that none of the boats cross the line ahead of time and that they all pass their final inspection. We'll take a look at the replay as the boats come down the back stretch. And the interesting spot here is to watch the second and third place race. There is your leader, Tom Spedding. And uh, Spedding holding it down, making sure his boat stays upright. He's got a pretty good lead. And Spedding crossing the finish line in boat 179F for first place and unofficially first place overall in the A-Stock runabouts in the 1992 APBA Stock Outboard Nationals. We'll be back with more after this.